Peace. Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is part two of interviewing for your job at summer camp. Um, we're going to address a few questions today. Again, remember to stay to the end of the video to hear about our great giveaway we're going to do. And please help me out here, man. Like, subscribe, share, and please tell your friends. Okay, one of the questions you'll probably be asked is, do you like working alone or working with others? Uh, this is a question that you should really put a lot of weight on even before applying to work at a summer camp. Um, if you like working alone, summer camp is not going to be the place for you and you're going to be miserable for 10-12 weeks, uh, however the long the season is. <clears throat> In order for camp to work smoothly, <clears throat> everybody has to work together like a well-oiled machine with the goal of one common goal, and that being ensuring <clears throat> that your campers have a fun, safe camping experience. <clears throat> if you're asked this question, make sure to give a clear example of how you worked with others, uh, be it volunteering, be it at home, uh, of where you work together with others to meet a common goal. Did you attend camp as a child? What did you like about it? And what did you dislike? Um, if you're asked this question, and you never went to camp, don't freak out about it. <clears throat> I worked in the campus, camping industry for 35 years, and I never went to camp as a child. Uh, how I got involved, been so long ago, um, I can't remember. But if you're asked this, this gives you the opportunity to tell the interviewer what volunteer activities you've done, what activities you've done outside, uh, some of your hobbies, um, take advantage to sell yourself on this question. Share the interview with anything you really enjoy outside, such as camping, hiking, golfing, disc golf, uh, anything at all that could pertain to working outside. <clears throat> How do you handle stress and pressure at your job? What do you do when things don't go so smoothly at work? Uh, think about that. Um, do you talk to the person that you're having problems with? Do you get angry? Do you just walk away from the situation? Um, the best way to respond to this question is to give an example of how you successfully handled something of a disagreement uh, with someone that you may have uh, had a problem with at work. Avoid saying that you never had this problem. Because if you answer the question that way, they're going to know that you're not being honest because anybody that works at camp has ran across problems <clears throat> uh, of stressful situations at work that people had to deal with. So make sure to give them a clear example um, of how you handled it, be it taking the person off to the side, talking to your supervisor, uh, whatever the case may be. Me as a camp director, I would be looking for someone that would said that they talk to the person first away from the campers to see if they can resolve their problem. Okay, what are some of the top qualities that you believe that people should have if they're working with children in a camp setting. As a former director, I would be looking for answers like um, supervision skills, uh, you're great at games, you're great at leading songs, you know skits, you have unlimited energy, um, things like that. So be ready for one. That's one that's offered uh, quite a bit. Now this is one that I would ask and um, I would put a lot of weight on the answer to this question. And what would you do with a group of children between the ages of five and six? Um, rainy days is where this would come into play. Before your interview, go online um, and research some uh, activities for that age group. Uh, when you're looking for activities, look for activities of something that will be easy for them to understand that doesn't take much time at all to set up. Because in the occasion of uh, rainy days, 
you don't have a lot of activity time to get prepared. That you've got to be ready to go. <clears throat> and one of the great answers for this is <clears throat> play in the rain. If it's not thundering and lightning and it's warm out, take your kids out and run around, play in the mud puddles and get your hands dirty and have a good time. So anyway, that's it. This is part two. <clears throat> My next video is going to be dealing with homesick campers. It'll probably be only one question <clears throat> that um, I do. I apologize for my voice. I'm getting sick. But anyway, please tell your friends to like, share, subscribe. When we hit 50 subscribers, I'm giving away that fantastic quilt. Thanks for stopping by. See you tomorrow, and peace out. Oh, yeah. She gave me a dollar.